Bravery manifests itself in, in many different forms, if you think about it. Uh, a man that manages to resist giving information whilst his toenails are being pulled out. Uh, somebody with a spear attacking uh, or trying to defend himself from a raging bull elephant or to protect somebody else. Uh, those are sort of a couple of examples actually that you don't think about, uh, like a bomb disposal officer with the cold courage of knowing the risks and the heat of battle Victoria crosses where at times you just have a split second before you know what you're doing. This is the VC of, uh, of McGuinness. Um, who uh, in July of 1945 uh, was sent in a mini-sub uh, to uh, attach limpet mines to a Japanese cruiser. But they managed to attach them, they got back into their mini-sub to find that they were caught underneath the, uh, the cruiser, and, but eventually they managed to literally squirt themselves out from underneath the cruiser, and a few hours later, with the timer set at a particular time, the Japanese cruiser was sunk. Sergeant Jackson volunteered to go out of the pilot's hatch and make his way onto the wing at 20,000 feet, flying at 200 miles an hour, with a fire extinguisher tucked into, into him in order to try to extinguish the flame. Uh, things went horribly bad for him uh, in terms of the wind caught the parachute, uh, he, couldn't hold, uh, he couldn't hold on, uh, the para he got burnt, the parachute uh, uh, part of it got caught in the flames and eventually he was dragged off. Fortunately it was just a couple of broken bones. Uh, but I think the visual effect of when you think about it, of somebody being prepared to go out of a hatch at that height uh, with just a hand extinguisher, in order to attempt to save the bomber uh, was an incredible feat. By being able to, uh, to add this particular Victoria Cross to the collection, I think is one of the highlights of the collection. And certainly for those that come to see the gallery who don't really know the story of Rourke's Drift, to be able to go into the background on the screens here and learn about the heroism of that uh, remarkable stand. Um, I hope they come and see and have a look at that. I became the school geek uh, on D-Day, uh, understanding it, and through that came across the Victoria Cross, and then started to read stories, and then become absolutely fascinated uh, by the concept of bravery, and these incredible stories of, uh, of what these men did. Uh, to get the Victoria Cross.